Hello. Welcome back into the studio. And I'll say hello to all those that haven't been in the studio before. I'm Jane and each time I have a video, I have a different type of craft or um, tip um, to share um, from the studio. And sometimes it's actually sort of things that I'm sorting out and, and my table and things like that. Today, I've actually got a teacup for you. Now it's based actually on um, a lovely floral teacup. Um, these were my grandmother's and we always had tea in the afternoon um, from teacups. I always have a mug, so, <laughs> but she always had in the afternoon um, a cup of tea in a teacup and I love uh, also to have um, those, especially with my mum, um, it, makes, it makes it lovely. But these are one that you could actually send through the post and you can make it yourself. It's literally out of um, paper and some cutouts that I've done from magazines, uh, greeting cards, birthday cards, um, catalogues. I went through over the, over the sort of time and I've actually collected them all. And as you can see, this is by the box. And some of you, if you follow on Instagram, um, you've seen this box and each project I tend to do, I tend to sort them all out. And then when I finish the project, all of the little things go into, what I've got left over, go into little bags and then they go into um, a keepsake folder so that I can use them at another time. But while I'm actually doing a project, it's handy for me to actually have this on the table so that I can actually dibble in um, and have a, a selection of what's here and also enjoy um, all that cutting out process. Now, I'm actually using a form of decoupage um, with this card as well. And decoupage, if you think, was it's, it's paper that you've cut out and you've identified, like in this case, the flowers. I've actually cut round these flowers and these were on um, a piece of paper that I've used um, for this card. So I've made the card first and whichever um, bits were left over, I've then um, cut it out. But I'll show you later on some that have come from magazines when we're actually making the card. So the card stands up as you saw by the, the little video in front. And, and here is one of those on the turntable with its little cake. And as you can see, it, then you can, when we start to get to where we can, we can get out and meet people again, it's, it's lovely, it's a lovely for um, a tea party to have um, a card. And all I've done is actually put a little tiny piece of a circle of plastic to actually hold it up so that it doesn't go against the card. Um, you know, the cake goes, doesn't go against the card and then it can be um, taken away um, as a gift or a reminder. So there we go. So if I pop that over there and I'll show you what's in the, the pack up. Now, those that are on Patreon, and I'll put a link below, you get these patterns um, free. Every time I do um, a different um, item, um, for projects you get those three as part of being a patron and supporting the studio doing um, daily projects but also helping the wider community and I thank all of those that are a part of the patron um, because you've been really supportive and also those that are doing by PayPal and things like that it really is helpful to for um, it to keep going and here we go so in the pack up you get your saucer template, you get a cup and saucer, a, a cup um, template, and a message spot, and then you also get your instructions. So um, it makes it very clear of what you have to do, and it's all step by step. Um, you get a doily, and you get um, a couple of pieces of paper, an envelope. You get some flowers to actually put on the front of your cup. All right. And then it's up to you then how you embellish it. Okay. So for this one, you need to have, um, these are six by four uh, pieces of paper, but you can have anything. I mean, I've used wallpaper. This, was, this paper came out of um, uh, a book. All right. So it depends on what you, what you want to use. Okay, but long as you can fit your template on. Now, when you get your, your printout, it, it's, it's on flimsy paper. So what you need to do is actually, I've stuck these on the back of um, cornflake boxes. 
all right your cereal boxes just to make it easier and you can see that this is this is this one here all right so what you need to do is just glue this cut out this paper pattern roughly pop it onto your card and then cut it out to the line all the way around and you need to do that with the cut and the saucer and the message spot so that you've got it and if you think you can then use this template over and over again you then take your paper pop those out of the way you take your paper and then you need to actually turn it over onto the reverse side so that the pattern is actually facing your table and then you've got to decide whether you want the handle facing left or facing right now when you draw around a, a, a template it's the opposite way round if you're on the reverse of the fabric that you're going to get it so in the case that I've already done one here if I show you I've already cut this one out so this one I used it that way because I wanted a left hand side teacup if I wanted it the other way I would just I would just literally go like that draw around it and when I turned it over my cup would be on this side now another thing to consider and this is all on the instructions another thing to consider is if there's any pattern pieces like here you can see there's a large flower or on, on this piece of paper there is a very large flower if you want that in the center of your cup you need to make sure that you can position um, your cup so that it actually um, fits over your flower and I've considered it because I want to put all these little pieces all the way around on it as well so I've I've made sure that it's near enough to one side when I've cut it out so you literally place it on there if I'm wanting it that way around I would draw it this way draw all the way around and then cut it out so that's what I've done with this one all right I'll pop that out of the way then the same with the saucer so I've drawn around the saucer now on the saucer there is a flat side and this is the side that actually fits to the table so that it so that when you're actually um, lifting up the cup it will actually hinge um, for the cup to stand up so you make sure again because this is part of your card that you position your pattern where you want it all right draw all the way around and then cut it out now if you're using pencil just get yourself an eraser and just rub out any pencil marks on your cup and on yeah you see I've got some on here that I didn't get out last time so yeah just just rub out any pencil marks that you've got very carefully around the handle So you've got those two pieces cut out. You then need your strip, which is four centimeters, um, and the measurements are there, and it, it, it's about 15 centimeters long, and you need to fold it in half. All right, so I folded it in half. All right, you've got your doily, and then you need to cut out a message spot. Now, this depends on what you want to do. You can either cut it out of a similar type of, of paper, or in this type, I've actually got botanical tea, which actually came with one of the, the paper packs. Um, and I'll list some of that below. All right. You might decide to do the message spot um, after you've actually made the card so that you can decide what you want to actually um, do with it or what you want on it or what theme you're, you're actually doing. So I've got my pieces here. Now the first thing is, is to take your saucer patterned side up so that it's looking at you. So like the saucer here is actually looking at you and take your strip. And what you need to do is put some double sided tape um, on this on this section or glue, depending what you want to do. And you want to make sure that you there we go, put it in the bin. You want to make sure that you're going level with where the flat piece is on your saucer. And it is marked on the template. And then just glue that in place so that it makes a hinge shape, you can see. All right, then this piece will become the hinge to put your cup on. Now, as you can see, I've stuck the pattern piece to the pattern piece. So 
you take your cup and you put a small piece of double-sided tape on the bottom um, of the um, strip. And you take your cup and you put your cup with the pattern side out and the plain pieces of your strip to the plain pieces of your cup. Now I tend to lay this down and then put the cup so that it's against the hinge and it's on the side of the flat. Now again that's on the instructions for you so that what you're doing is you're sticking it on like that. Okay. Now. You can either do, once you get this, you can either decorate your cup beforehand, which is you know, a bit more sensible, um, or you can wait until you get to this so that you know what's going on. And then all you need to do is just flip your, um, your saucer out of the way. And then you can decorate. Now what I've done here is these are from birthday cards, greetings cards. Um, this one is actually from um, a catalogue and you just want to arrange so that when these go on there's a little yeah so you just arrange them first so that you can see what you want to do just put that leaf underneath put that over the top of there and i've put some of them that are actually on the outside um, of the cup so that they're they're coming off the cup and then they, that will go in there now to glue these in place you can either glue them or you can um, on this says I've actually put the foam tape now I mean my foam tape was quite old so I actually have and you can see it's not actually gluey so I cut off the strip that I needed and then I put glue on the bit that um, I wanted to stick down I'll peel this off put another bit of glue and then I will put those actually in place all right I'll just do this this one so that you can see I've got a glue and I'm just going to literally take off the back piece pop some glue on the there now I know where I would like that and pop that in place now I've popped it near the handle and I've just done it slightly um, to the side now I've popped on the back of these I've popped the little glue um, they're almost the same foam tape but it's quite small try not to mix them up if you're going to use that use that and then chop it up to the size that you need to, to fill up yours and support your decoupage um, for those of you done decoupage before and then these ones you need to use several of them you can also use glue dots all right and they are just as good to actually put so it raises it up slightly and it gives it some dimensions as you can see these are actually stood up away from the card so it gives it a little bit more depth you might be able to see a bit more in that one it actually gives it some depths of how they actually stand out and they stand away from the actual card all right, so I would continue to glue all of those in the arrangement that I wanted. Okay, I then can come back to my saucer and I'm going to glue in my doily. All right, and this is all part of the packet. And if you've got a large doily, just cut it down or just, you know, do a shape. And on the reverse of your doily, pop some glue all the way around. And this is just your, this ordinary... Um, like PVA glue it's nothing you know or you can just use um, your glue stick but with doilies that tends to sort of peel off after a while so um, I've, I've found that you know PVA tends to be the best thing to use there we go so I've got the PVA and I've used a brush and then you just pop that over the top of your strip and in the middle of your saucer and then just circle it down so that it's actually down and you only do the middle so that it actually raises up around the outside now on this piece if you've noticed on that strip i didn't glue all the way down now you can do that's completely up to you and then you could put a message spot over the top to cover that up i haven't because i actually want to um, do it like these ones where you can actually put um, a tea bag 
or you could actually put um, a message in here, a small letter or note, and then it can be actually kept um, as a gift. You could also um, do a mess messaging spot on the back with some lines so that you could actually um, write a message on the back and that would be lovely too. You know with some of the um, gift spots they've actually got right lines on the back like something like this that's actually got lines already you could actually put that on there and cut to size. Okay. So that's that. Okay. Got that far and then we pop those on there all right so then you would take your your message spot and in this case it just says on mine botanical tea and i'm actually going to just pop that on there and then peel it off now when i'm putting this one on i'm making sure that my my message spot just fits in the bowl shape of the actual cup and then I'm going to take some scissors and I'm just going to cut off the extra bit that's hanging off the top so that and it's up to you what you you know what you do so that you've got it so that it's now you can still put something behind it all right so if I had a flower I could still put um, a flower behind it as you can see all right so the message and things can still be behind and that really is it then you just have to write your message um, on it. And in this case, as you can see, I've actually put um, a cake on mine. And you can see by the display um, um, that I showed you earlier, um, it does look really lovely for a table decoration um, if you're having a tea party and you want something for them to actually take away. So I hope you've enjoyed very quick um, little card, but it's also a gift. Um, you may need to make an envelope um, depending on what size you do these. These are sort of teacup size. Um, I tried when I did my design to actually make them so that you know you could do them. But you could, if you wanted to do the miniature, like this is actually a very miniature um, cup of tea, very dainty Victorian cup of tea. Um, you could make them smaller or you could do a mug size um, and actually do a mug um, and put a biscuit or a muffin um, or a chocolate brownie mm, um, on there. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you would like a pack up um, or the instructions, I'll leave the link below so that you can um, send um, an email and I will send that off to you. I'm going to say bye for now. Thank you for joining me in the studio and see you soon.